Blessed day po sa ating lahat, sa mga nakikinig at nanonood na sumasubaybay sa ating 40-day journey ng Purpose Driven Life. Nasa day 9 na po tayo. So bago tayo magumpisa sa ating day 9 journey, tayo po ay manalangin. God, the creator of heaven and the earth, we exalt you, magnify your name, forgive us of our iniquities that we have done. Cleanse our hearts, minds, and strengthen us today through your words that we will study. Thank you for your greatness and the smiles you put on our faces. Holy Spirit works powerfully in our lives this day, O oh God, that today we will make you smile. May your kingdom come, may your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Amen and Amen. Paano ba nyo napapatawa ang isang tao? Mayroon po akong napanood na challenge na itong mga tatlong kindergarten teachers na papatawanin nila, papatawanin nila, papata, papatawa nila itong bata na ito na only I think um, nasa 2 to 3 years old siya. So, inilagay siya sa gitna at ipap, at Kailangan nilang mat mapatawa. They have given a certain time to do that. So, talagang itong batang to hindi talaga mapatawa. At sadly, hindi nga nila napatawa. Napaiyak pa nga nila sa ginagawa nila. Ako ang natatawa nga sa mga ginagawa nila. Ako kasi madali akong mapatawa. So, what makes you smile? So, ating day 9 na lesson natin ngayon, ang title niya ay... What makes God smile? So let us read Psalm 147:11 in contemporary English version. The Lord is pleased with those who worship him and trust his love. Okay. The smile of God is the goal of our life. When he is pleased, he smiles. Since pleasing is the first purpose of our life. So let us see Noah. Noah was the pleasure to the Lord. He makes God smile. So from the life of Noah, we will study the five acts of worship that makes God smile. So number one, God smile when we love Him supremely. Ano ba? Supremely. Siya lang ang ating mahal. Supremely. So, Noah loved God more than anything. So, Noah loved God more than anything else. Wala na. Even his, mas love pa niya si Lord kasi yung family niya, mga anak niya, asawa, yung asawa niya. So, Noah consistent, consistently followed God. So, learning the love of God and be loved by Him should be the greatest objective of our life. So Noah loved God supremely. So number two, God smiles when we trust Him completely. Our trust is should be complete, not half-half, not today, tomorrow, no more. So Noah trusted God completely, even it didn't make sense. God said to him, Build an ark. And he did without any question. Nung sinabi sa kanya ni Lord, Build an ark. He did it without any question. He don't, he don't. Uh, for us, um, in the Bible, it tells that the word of the Lord that we can trust because it's true. It's only the word of the Lord that we can trust because it's true. So like Noah, he trusts God completely. So we have to trust the Lord also completely. So number three, God smiles when we obey Him wholeheartedly. So God gave very detailed instruction, size, shape, measurement, and materials. Noah did everything exactly as the Lord told him to do. So, he obeyed wholeheartedly. Yung 
Uh, sabi ni Lord sa kanya, Noah, gawin mo tong ark na to. Ito yung size niya, ito yung uh, kalapad niya, ito yung gagamitin mong tree. Kasi, iwawap niya ang buong mundo. I know lahat, uh, for the short background, si Noah po yung nag-build ng ark when the Lord flooded the earth. So, only Noah and his family and the uh, pairs of animals ang um, na-save and the other animals na kinuman ni Lord na enter the ark. Yun lang, sila po lang po ang na-save. So, when God told Noah to build an ark, talagang he followed it, he trust the Lord completely and he obeyed the Lord wholeheartedly. So, yung pag-obey niya, detailed yung binigay ni Lord sa kanya kung paano niya i-build yung ark, alam na kung size niya, talagang finalo niya nun, no flows, absolutely followed. So, sabi nga nila, delayed obedience is disobedience, or partial obedience is still a disobedience. So, if we, ha if we have, if we obey the Lord, we gain understanding. If we, eh, sabi nga, obedience equals understanding. So, mag-obey lang po tayo kung ano po yung Um, kinuman ni Lord sa atin na gawin o kung ano pa yung sinasabi ng Biblia na ating binasa. So, God's, number four, God smiles when we praise and thank Him continually. So, God smiles when we praise Him and uh, thank Him continually. Hindi lang yung bukas, hindi na. Sa makalawa, hindi na. So, we have to continually praise Him and give Him thanks. So, God pleased to know why. Because He live without a heart, uh, sorry, he live with a heart of praise and thanksgiving. So Noah did after surviving the flood. What did Noah do after surviving the flood? Sabi ng Bible, Then Noah built an altar to the Lord and sacrificed burnt offerings. Yun yung first na ginawa ni Noah after ng surviving from the flood. So, he built an art, altar. Tayo naman, after nung na-lift up, after tong pandemic na to, ano ba yung una natin ginawa? Namasyal agad ba? Or did we thank the Lord and made an, uh, made an altar and offer to Him a praise? Yung altar kasi hindi na ngayon yung binibuild natin. So, anywhere. So, after yung two years na pandemic natin, we will build an altar to the Lord. Did we give him praise and thanksgiving? Okay, so ano ba yung number five na ginawa ni Noah? So, God smile when we use our abilities. So, after the flood, God gave Noah these simple instructions. Be fruitful and increase in number and fill the earth. So, Ginawa po, yun, ginawa po nila yun. They have to toil, to work on the ground. They have to use the abilities that God have given them, has, has given them. So work. So every one of us has ability. Use it for God's glory. Hindi lang isang ability natin, marami abilities. So use it for God's glory. Every act of enjoyment becomes an act of worship when we thank God for it. So, lahat ng mga ginagawa natin, if we give thanks to the Lord for that, it is an offer of, it, it, it is an act of worship. Yun po. So, isummarize po natin ang, ang mga limang natutunan natin sa buhay ni Noah, kung bakit si Noah, he makes God, he made God smile. At paano natin, ganito din ang gawin natin so that God will smile, we will make God smile. So, ano ba yung number one? God, when we love Him uh, supremely, yung number two natin is trust Him completely. Yung number three natin is obey Him wholeheartedly. At yung number four natin is praise and thank Him continually. And number five natin is use our abilities. Okay, yan po ang ating day 9. Tapos na po. Sana po mapapangiti natin ang Diyos ngayong umaga. So, bago tayo magtapos, meron po tayong question na sasagutin. 
at pwede nyo pong i-comment ang inyong answer. So, day 9, thinking about my purpose. Ang title ng day 9 natin is What Makes God Smile? And this is the thinking about us. But let's think about our word purpose. We have point to ponder. God smiles when I trust Him. So, verse to remember. The Lord is pleased with those who worship Him and trust His love. Psalm 147, 11. So, we have two questions to consider. You can comment your answers. So, since God knows what is best, in what areas of my life do I need to trust Him most? May the Lord smile on you. So let us pray. Salamat po Lord sa aming natutunan today. We make that we make you smile every day. As we journey our life on earth. We love you Lord. And uh, help us to do these five things that makes you smile as Noah did. So Lord, give us that a heart like Noah has. The heart of God that love you completely, trust you wholeheartedly, obey you, O oh God, wholeheartedly. O oh God, help us to do these things. And we make, and O oh Lord, that Every day, sana sa aming buhay ay mapapangiti ka namin as we do what you pleases in our lives. Lord, help us also to do your will in our lives. Thank you, Father, for your word. And we give you all the glory, the honor, the adoration, and praises in the most powerful name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen and Amen.